Clean, first, I would like to focus on the rituals to be more successful in 2017. Uh, well, actually, uh, uh, according to uh, research, there are so many things that can be done to make us more optimistic. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we're starting this amazing new year, uh, one of the things, for example, that I have started to apply uh, since last year no. uh, was the fact of waking up early in the morning. So waking up uh, 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 the golden hour, which is between 5 to 6, is considered mm. to be one of the best rituals. 5 to 6. To 6 a.m. in the morning, yes. <laughs> it's but, but many people in stream um, would consider that to be, and if they, uh, uh, they are having obligation in the morning, uh, very early hours in the morning, they are uh, uh, too sad and they are Restricted. anxious the day before that, yes. they are going to uh, rise early. So how can we... Uh, uh, convince people that it's the golden hour and they should be happy to be awake during that period. Yes, uh, uh, very right actually, <laughs> Mahesti. Uh, thank you for this amazing question. True. Uh, when we get up early in the morning, it's very difficult to wake up at Especially uh, in winter. 4.30, exactly, when it's too cold outside. Um, uh, but I'll tell you that actually it's one of the best rituals anyone could ever develop. Uh, uh, when we wake up early in the morning, mm -hmm. we have, it's the best uh, time of the day. Uh, it's the uh, point at which we exercise mm -hmm. uh, the highest level of willpower mm -hmm. and energy. So that sets the tone right for the beginning of the day. Mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, making use of the uh, hour which is between 5 to 6 a.m. in the morning. Uh, Only makes, 5 to 6? Yes. Uh, well, actually, it could <laughs> extend it's beyond quite 6 a.m. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, uh, actually, it's considered to be the best time for yeah. doing certain activities that actually enhance uh, uh, our energy and sets the tone for the beginning of the day. Mm -hmm. Even if we sleep early, sleep late, if, uh, we manage to wake, early, to wake up at five? Uh, well, actually, a part of the rituals yes. uh, is we need to change the whole system. Yes. So if we're used to waking up, uh, to sleeping late in the evening, then uh, 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 we have to slowly, slowly adapt to sleeping early so we can wake up early in the morning. Yes. Yeah, so uh, it makes a lot of difference, actually. When we wake up early in the morning, it's mm. the best time yeah. to think about certain things in our lives, mm. to plan, mm. to uh, uh, sort of uh, think about solutions, alternatives. in uh, During uh, that in period, from exactly, 5 to 6. From five uh, to but, six. Uh, that would bring me, because you said we have, uh, or it's the best time to wake up at 5 um, a.m. Should we just uh, wake up and sit in bed um, or uh, just go out of bed and have a coffee, just think of uh, our issues in life, think of how to manage or how to um, uh, uh, divide our day or, or what, what should be the target here because many uh, people are, are uh, having kids in school, they might be starting to get ready for that or what should be the agenda? Yes, uh, well actually, uh, uh, of course, as you say, part of it will be customized based on everyone's uh, schedule and needs, mm -hmm. but there are certain activities that has to be done early when we wake up in, which are, uh, for this golden hour, yeah. which are three things mainly. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, playing sports for the first 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, the next 20 minutes is uh, uh, after, of course, uh, starting for the day and taking a, a cold shower uh, and feeling refreshed. Uh, yeah, then continue we, yeah. the stream because okay. I will interrupt you. <laughs> cold shower <laughs> and right. playing sports at 5 a.m. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, well, yeah, well, of course, in winter it becomes very difficult, but I'll tell you it's one of the best practices to mm. make someone feel energized, even if it's for a split second. Mm. Uh, it, sort of, uh, mm. it, it, it sort of inspires uh, someone to exercise uh, uh, a greater amount of control. Uh, you feel you're doing something different than most of er the population. Mm. Uh, and actually, uh, health-wise, yeah. it, uh, it sort of energizes, it enhances the, uh, the blood flow. And so, we first um, play exercise? Sports. Yeah, for 20 minutes. Yeah. And there is a reason for 20 minutes, because uh, uh, when we play sports for 20 minutes, mm -hmm. we trigger the uh, secretion of a hormone called serotonin. Mm -hmm. And serotonin, of course, is the happy hormone, so it makes us get our day in a start our day in a very special any, way any kind of sports maybe uh, just uh, uh, workouts mm. um, uh, jogging 
um, of course, if we have the ability to go out and exercise. I'm five, Nisreen. Well, I'll tell you. Uh, it's quite it, dark. Well, uh, I know. Do you know course, people who who exercise yeah. at five? Yes, I, I do. Yes, of course. There are people actually who get themselves mm -hmm. started for the day. They go yes. out and they, in the fresh air, they start to jog and they start to run. Before going when we to wake work. up early, so those people yeah. are existing. <laughs> yeah, but if we cannot do, well, yeah, the, some of them actually they have, um, yeah, they they already start doing this. Uh, yeah. But if it is very difficult for us to do it because of the schedule, as you say, people uh, getting they ready. They have obligations, exactly, and, and school, exactly, and everything. So what we can do is at least we can uh, uh, sort of plan for some workouts. And um, on, on uh, uh, I would say, on the social media, uh, uh, on Facebook, for example, we have some websites that actually uh, uh, send us uh, uh, like daily workouts mm. so we don't feel bored uh, uh, we exercise muscle groups different muscle groups during different uh, days so that sort of mm. uh, energizes us so for the first 20 minutes mm. we play sports and then for the second 20 minutes we sit down and we sort of think mm. and when we talk about thinking it's about long-term strategy where are we going and especially that we're starting now a new year so uh, one of the things for example All which this Nisreen from five to six, it's a very busy schedule. Okay, <laughs> I'll tell you. Uh, well, uh, if, if we think it will be very difficult even, I'll tell you, like uh, uh, mm. if I talk about myself, uh, I wake up early in the morning at 4.30 a.m. So actually I start my, yes, I start okay. my day earlier than five, mm. um, much earlier than five. And uh, at the beginning it was, I'll tell you, mm. uh, uh, from my own perspective, mm. as you say, it was very difficult for me. But once I started incorporating this daily habit in my life, since last year, and this was actually one of last year's resolution. Mm. I mean, uh, the slogan that I kept for last year was 2016, the year of magnificent change. Mm. And for me, change, one of the rituals that I managed to change uh, in my life was to wake up early in the morning, mm. earlier than most people. So um, uh, when I start my day at 4.30 a.m., uh, definitely in inspires me. It has given me actually a different perspective. Huh. Like uh, uh, mm -hmm. in terms of, uh, you will be actually surprised, uh, Mahesti, yeah. uh, to know that lots of the uh, strategic, or I would say the most difficult problems that I might have been able to face or that I could not find solutions for, the best solutions always came in that golden hour. Uh, and to say this is very easy, but actually you will be surprised if you sort of uh, try it and uh, uh, to get those amazing ideas during that one hour. Why? I do not know, but uh, for some reason, it inspires us to think in unprecedented, in a creative way. So uh, even if it means slotting out like 10 to 15 minutes quietly, because obviously there will be no disturbance around, mm -hmm. and to think like about focus regarding specific issues, regarding uh, plans, regarding uh, certain uh, things you will be inspired to get like for example one of the things actually that came up uh, and I and I would I would I, I have actually included it for this year uh, I mean but, uh, let yeah. me interrupt you okay. you have Please. here a sheet or a schedule for uh, maybe the daily ritual yes 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 so can you shed yes. light on it yeah sure uh, well uh, actually when we talk about uh, uh, performing better and becoming successful yes. Uh, uh, since we're talking about the golden hour, uh, usually uh, 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 there will be certain times during the day for doing certain activities. Yes. Uh, so if, for example, uh, if we look at the slide, uh, which yes. is uh, related uh, to energy, mm. we will find actually that there are slotted out times for doing certain activities during the day for morning people. Yep. And these timings will be shifted by three to four hours for evening people. Mm. Um, so there is a solution for evening people as well? Yes, of course, of course. Uh, so, uh, for example, if I'm not a morning person, uh, uh, and let's say, for example, if I'm talking about uh, long-term uh, related, uh, long-term memory related activities, if I would like to memorize something for life, for mm. example, there is usually a best time for these activities. Uh, versus, for example, uh, uh, short-term memory related activities or, uh, uh, for example, in relation to manual dexterity or physical workouts. Mm -hmm. Like, um, like for, for many people, for example, they might uh, miss on the uh, first golden hour, 20 minutes of the golden hour for playing sports. Uh, but actually, uh, according to research, we have another time zone for mm -hmm. uh, playing sports, which is, uh, interestingly enough, it's between 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. So if we okay. miss the golden hour, 
we can still slot out 20 to 30 minutes, um, uh, provided, of course, that we slept well the day before. Mm. It helps to energize us after a long work day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nisrina, I would ask here, um, uh, when should we sleep? Because, and what are the, the number of hours that we should be sleeping uh, to have a, a positive uh, wake-up uh, system? Okay. Uh, well, actually, ideally, according to research, it used to be taught before thought before that it's uh, around eight hours but uh, eight now hours. eight hours before that was the uh, traditional uh, yeah of course which oh. is quite long uh, now according to research uh, uh, the recent research says between six to seven hours a day mm. so when we talk about waking up at 4 a.m. in the morning or 4 30 a.m. in the morning mm. then obviously we have to be in bed by mm. by ten. approximately 10 ten. maximum yeah maximum by 10 uh, uh, and actually, uh, uh, to get ourselves uh, uh, used to sleeping early in the mm -hmm. evening uh, will, will re also require certain rituals. Mm -hmm. So uh, it would require, of course, that we have a light diet, that we sort of uh, refrain from doing a sort of a heavy mental activity. Uh, we, we go to bed. Exactly. Doing something that we enjoy that will help us to relax. Uh, even if it could mean maybe closing uh, our eyes and sort of taking a me time, mm. an mm. ME time, a me time for like 10 minutes. Mm. Um, it definitely in, in helps. In me time, what yeah. should I do exactly? Doing something that is enjoyable. It could be, for example, listening to music. It could be reading a couple of pages uh, in a favorite, uh, from a favorite book by the bedside. Mm. It could be, for example, um, uh, even having a... Meditating. Uh, <laughs> meditating, exactly, or a meaningful conversation yeah. uh, with a loved uh, person. So all these ones, uh, all these activities definitely goes a long way to make mm -hmm. us uh, feel energized uh, and have a, a peaceful sleep in the evening. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, what about uh, midday? Okay. Uh, uh, well, actually, when we wake up early in the morning and we start our day yes. refreshed and uh, going through the golden hour and uh, getting st ourselves started, then obviously what comes next is how do we schedule for our day? Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll tell you actually that uh, from a time management uh, mm -hmm. perspective, yeah. Uh, it's, it's quite important and uh, I would like to uh, link it to the idea of when we start a year, it's very important to have a, sol a slogan for the mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. Like um, I was just saying a few minutes yes. before that uh, in 2016, yes. for example, my slogan exactly was the year of magnificent change. This year it's different. So while um, sitting mm -hmm. down and planning my thoughts during the golden hour, uh, this, is my, uh, this is my slogan for uh, 2017. Yes, Which it's uh, the year of beating challenges. And when I talk about actually uh, beating challenges, it's about uh, beating uh, big challenges. Like, for example, uh, when we talk about, for example, a healthy uh, uh, lifestyle and when we talk about eating and incorporating healthy diet, mm -hmm. um, maybe this is an area that I need to work on myself yes. or maybe it sort of slipped a little bit amidst the very big, uh, busy schedule yeah. during the last few months. So I have come up with one of the New Year's resolutions is that um, uh, one time or once a day, I'm going to do something different in terms of having a healthy diet. So mm. I'll incorporate maybe something that is very small. If it could mean maybe a piece of fruit, a, uh, uh, I would say uh, uh, some nuts, um, uh, maybe a uh, cup of yogurt. So it would be something that would break up my daily mm. routine. That's something that could be inspiring for lots of people. Uh, that instead of making a, or introducing a dramatic change to our uh, diet habits, yes. uh, then maybe we can keep everything the same, but maybe incorporate something Health. that is different yes. on a daily basis. Um, for example, uh, one of my goals, uh, and actually when we think of goals for the new year, uh, I usually think of goals in terms of four areas, mm. the uh, physical, the social, the spiritual mm. and the mental goals. Mm. So for example, uh, when we always talk about the mental goals, Mm. Um, it's always about um, um, maybe work, but I'll tell you that self-development is one of the things actually that inspires us and uh, it goes a long way to make us successful. Mm. Uh, so for example, for me, uh, I'm already, uh, I've already started writing a book, so mm. I'm in the final stages of reading and overviewing the draft and mm. in the process of finding a publisher. So that, that's a mental related goal. Yeah. Uh, for example, another goal uh, could be uh, the social goal, like how would we add value to the uh, most important people who are mm. in our lives. Um, that, could, that could be part of the social mm -hmm. goal. And of course, physical is how we take care of ourselves. Uh, it could be, for example, fitness-related goals. It could be 
related to exercise or maybe um, um, introducing changes to our daily uh, eating habits. Mm. So all these goals definitely they go a long way when we start the year to mm. write them down and that, that I usually do in my agenda. Uh, I will uh, incorporate a slogan for the new year. Uh, uh, I write goals, so I, do, I sort of uh, mm. sep write them clearly, outline them as physical goals, spiritual, mental, and mm. uh, social. Mm. So it's very important to mm. start the year with a clear perception in mind. Mm. Um, I know, of course, it's very challenging to accomplish everything, but at the end of the day, to know that we are set on to do something that is very special for the year goes a long way to make us uh, successful. Mm. But uh, Nisreen, um, uh, not everyone is capable of doing that because um, I, I do believe that uh, we need to adjust our mindset concerning uh, uh, setting uh, agendas and uh, beating the challenges, as you have kindly mentioned, for the year 2017. We, we, we need to do have um, a real uh, desire to, to have a real change in our lives. How, how can we start that? What's the... the, the, the the starting point here. Yes, well, there are actually lots of things that can be done to enhance this desire and to sort of give a push up for this desire. Like, uh, for example, um, again, from a sort of a life planning perspective, um, one of the things could be actually to consider and to look around in our workspace mm. or, for example, uh, in our homes. Like, uh, we will find actually there are lots of uh, stuff that uh, fill up our cash. You know, closets, yes. um, uh, I would say... Uh, that we do not choose. Exactly. And uh, it's very surprising, but actually, according to research, usually when we held up or when we have lots of things around us that we don't need and they occupy lots of physical space, to a great extent, it, it affects the way we think. Why? According to research, uh, it occupies a space, a physical space in our minds. So... Wow. Uh, yeah, it, it's very interesting. It's psychological, actually. Yeah. Um, it, it, when we are surrounded by uh, lots of uh, uh, things. things that we don't use, uh, and we, our eyesight sort of gets bombarded every time yes. by, yeah. uh, by things that sort of don't give us space, enough space. Mm -hmm. So somehow that serves as an obstacle to the way we think. So one of the things, actually, that uh, uh, we're being told, like when we... Um, when we sort of wake up uh, in the morning and we find in one of those days or maybe during midday or maybe in the evening that you know uh, we don't feel good so much good about the day or maybe about ourselves or we don't want to, we do not want to do mm. something so the first thing is to do actually is to look at the place or the space around us and to take strong decisions in terms of what are the things that we are going to do like uh, maybe get off get rid of few things or give them to someone yes. that probably might need them more or maybe mm. uh, do some volunteering activity in the society in terms of mm. uh, giveaways so these are things actually that uh, it energizes and uh, serves to uh, uh, meet the purpose of being uh, we feel good about ourselves so mm. that serves the physical purpose as well as the social purpose so maybe when we give these things uh, away to maybe organizations charity mm. organizations you, you would feel better exactly well. exactly this is one of the things yes. now the second thing is actually to maintain support groups so by support groups we mean that when we get the support of a family member uh, maybe someone who helps us to motivate us mm. uh, a good example uh, or maybe uh, to sort of uh, work it out like Maybe uh, a friend can call me up early in the morning and tell me, Nisreen, please wake up early in the morning. Come on, it's time. So this could help in a way, of course, to make us, um, you know, sort of energized. Like there are... But by yeah. support group here, here Nisreen, you mean that um, we talk to each other to express ourselves or we do uh, uh, have a routine together. Uh, Both. What, what do you mean here by support well, group, the role of the support okay, group? Okay, the role here. actually of the support group would be to inspire and to sort of keep us moving. Yeah. And the second thing would be to discuss what are the challenges that we face. Like, uh, uh, we could be waking up early, but uh, maybe, we, 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 maybe time is wasted. Uh, mm -hmm. and we, we're not making enough use of this golden hour time. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, by sort of discussing, we can inspire each other to find ways mm -hmm. yes. to become more energized. Like for example, and uh, I remember uh, uh, for many people actually who had a challenge to wake up early and to play sports, one of the ideas that came up through discussion from a support group was, why don't we prepare our training suits from the evening, keep them by the bedside in good shape, 
uh, keep everything ready from the evening. So that would sort of visually inspire us to start the day in a different way. So, uh, Ms. Uh, so Nisreen, uh, uh, Nasreddin, sorry, uh, okay. training consultant, thank you for being with us today. You're welcome. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me to come over and have a wonderful year. Thank Amazing you, uh, 2017. For you too, and we thank wish you. that uh, the breaking of the challenge would be successful and hope yes. we, we will meet again thank and uh, discuss more of the, uh, about that issue. Um, Ms. Nisreen, uh, thank you very much. Thank you. And now I'll give you as we go to a short break and after that we'll be back to resume the segments of The Breakfast Show, so don't go away.